come to side line. Your bottom leg will be out straight. Your top leg will be resting on your crop. And your hips bend at 90 degrees and so is your knee. So float your bottom waist so you can stack your hips. You can see that uh, gets my, my uh, sweatshirt here nice and vertical. Or is that kind of tips it on an angle? So float in the bottom waist, lengthen the top waist, and I'm going to keep it there. I take my bottom leg with a foot that's flexed and lift it straight up towards the ceiling away from the floor and lower back down. So again, that inner thigh that we just warmed up for the last two exercises, that bottom leg's inner thigh has been doing the lifting. You can even do a Kegel if you feel like, oh, I felt like that gave me some support. You can even do a Kegel and then lift the leg and see if that makes it easier. Just make sure if you are doing a Kegel when the leg lowers back down, relax your pelvic floor muscles too. One more time, I'm going to keep the leg lifting. You're going to swing it to the front towards your prop and then swing it to the back. Four more times. One more time. Keep your leg to the back. Make little circles with your leg for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Reverse the circle for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lower your leg back down. Bring that knee forward towards your pillows towards your roller. So uh, get that kneecap actually to touch your prop. And if you have a roller, I'd say place your hand on the roller just so it doesn't roll away. You're gonna float the, the leg that's on the roller. So the leg that's uh, resting on the floor is going to push down to the floor as this leg lifts. So both uh, tush muscles here and both legs are gonna be working. And then lower back down. We're just keeping the shin bones parallel to the roller, parallel to your pillows. And this leg position today, both legs have to work to make this movement happen. You're gonna feel that bottom leg activated. Two more times. One more, keep the leg lifting, pointing your kneecap down. Point it up towards the ceiling. Keeping your pelvis still, just rotating the femur head in the socket. And make sure you're breathing. A few more times. Last one, finish with your shin bones parallel to the floor and draw little circles with that kneecap for 10. Nice, so that's that thigh bone moving. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and reverse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, feel that little burn. And then sit up and come to line on the other side. Time to torture the other leg. And actually this person, both legs are tortured all at the same time. So bottom leg's gonna be up straight. Top leg is resting on your prop. Float your bottom waist. Lengthen your top waist. So look, there's my little, my zipper. Got nice and parallel to the floor where it's here. You can see it kind of sagging down at my waist. I float the bottom waist, lengthen the top waist, and that helps to lengthen out my zipper. You're going to stay here, top leg staying on the roller for now. Bottom leg, the foot is flat, you're going to lift and lower. And again, you're thinking way up high in the inner thigh is doing the lifting. You can also do a Kegel if you feel like that was helpful and give you a little extra support. A couple more. And then keep the leg lifting and swing it to the front. 
and swing it to the back. Trying to keep everything else pretty still. One more time. Keep the leg to the back and make little circles with your leg for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, reverse the circle for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower your leg down. You're going to bend your knee. Bring your knee all the way forward until it touches your pillows or your roller. If you have a roller, place your hand onto the roller just to hold it still. You're going to float the top leg now. So the bottom leg has to push down into the floor as the top leg lifts. And then lower the top leg. And pick it back up. And lower it back down. Try to keep that bottom waist floating a little bit. One more time, keep the leg lifting. Point your kneecap down and point it up towards the ceiling. Keeping your pelvis still. So watch that the pelvis isn't rolling as the leg moves. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just not what we're doing. We're really trying to strengthen, oh, that leg in the socket. Two more. And bring the leg so it's parallel to the floor and make little circles with your kneecap for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and reverse. <coughs> 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and lower. Oh, 